Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here today anyways. Um, I thought about this a little. If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man... She definitely didn't. Yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person. Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. Is that like her thing? So, what do you think of? Well, she perked up again really quick. So, what do you think of seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. Oh. And Mystic Maya looks so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so. And then that snobby woman with the ruffly clothes. Ruffly? Oh, she means Francisca. She had such a bad attitude. She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm going to tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer and a prosecutor, so her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent, all they care about is if they win. That's terrible! It is. But, she's really, she's a, she's really a good prosecutor with the heart on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Wow. Wow. Generalize much? Well, he might have become a good guy eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mystic Maya talking about? Mr. Edgyworth? Oh, God. Angry face. That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Dude, that was like six months ago. Relax. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. Wait. Wait. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. What? Dude, they're just dropping bombshells today. I'm... My mind's actually blown. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have anything else to say. Just, yeah. By the way. Yes, what is it? Um, you wouldn't have to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Just when did she pick this up? Her alibi. Just realized I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when this murder happened? Ah! What I was doing? I wasn't do doing anything! She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me. I won't tell anyone else. I promise. Uh-oh. Boom. Ah. Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Then just tell me! Why do I still have to go through this nonsense? She knows that I just caught her to lie, and she's just like, Yeah, you're still gonna have to open the locks with your power. It's really empty. Training was supposed to be held today. But I guess it's already over. Hmm. Looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What's she doing? Looks like she's t talking to a picture. Oh my. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Misty. What in the... Who's there? Well, we, knew, we know who set Maya up now. This is the old... Um, what they call it, branch family trying to become a part of the main family and taking out members of the main family so that they can seize power anime story. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Um, just curious, but that picture you were just looking at. Oh, today was that event, was it not good, sir? I heard you did well. Huh? Oh, yes. Thank you. 
I am terribly sorry I could not attend this trial today. Please accept my apology. I had a previous engagement as I had to watch over the trainee's training today. I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. Oh, because the master can't be with here with us, do you understand? And that is why a lowly brand family member such as myself much do this. Talks about that a lot. Not her, no. You remembered anything about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time Lada and I went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. I performed the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterward. Hmm, you said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did. However, that is all that occurred. Uh, I was really hoping for some new info. How did Phoenix not realize that that was weird? I suppose I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. Sorry to have played on your hopes. Could you possibly be more patronizing? So the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day after the murder, of course, however. And I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training? Mr. Wright. Ah, yes, yes. Well, she got real scary real fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya, Mystic Pearl. Sorry, I meant Mystic Maya, Mrs. and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really being a pain in the butt about this. <sighs> please remember to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. And so the master is um, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure. About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling, at channeling a certain spirit, and after that she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village in any case, and in four years' time her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, I see. It's an arbitrary number. And that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed for Crane, Crane Village. And? Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this murder, I'm afraid. I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. There's some empty space be behind the folding screen. A lot of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. There wasn't anyone back here at the time of the murder. But that's a lot of testifying in court. I knew I should have taken a look. I can always count on Lada to make things hard. This, this is the key to this room. That's right. But why do you have it, good sir? That, I'm not telling. Return it at once. I can't. It's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to, the mur to this murder. But what is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels, I can't describe it. Murderish? About this key, Pearls. You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where you found the key is very important. So please tell me, Pearls, where did you find this? Um, I found it in the incinerator. The fuck? The incinerator? Oh, is she talking about the one in the garden? The door in it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling when everyone else was in panic. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you going to tell my mother? Huh? You mean tell Morgan what you did? Yes, if she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Ah, uh, gotcha. Well, let's just keep it a secret from her then, alright? Hmm, the incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next. Alright, let's go check out the incinerator. Something by the incinerator. Oh, someone by the incinerator. Looks like they noticed me. And are now running at the top speed at top speed towards me. Oh hey! Like you're the dentist guy. Actually it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. Oh, like real suave. So it's like my turn. It's nice to see you too. So what's up? You're all out of breath. She'd be cute if she wasn't conspiring uh, one of the co-conspirators for murder. Like, huh? Oh, you mean like... Or the person that actually committed the murder, possibly. Like, I'm just totally happy and like totally excited to be here. Excited? 
Like, I mean, there are so many things to, like, see. It's, like, the real deal here. Oh, really? For example. For example, like that urn over there. Do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. I don't know what that dance is supposed to be. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? Like, yeah, it's like this village's treasure. Huh, didn't know that. Actually, you did know that. We were told that earlier. And, like, it's sealed inside that urn. Um, it's... What are you talking about? Like, you know... Is it Amy? Or is it Ami? Amy Faye's spirit. Amy Faye? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith, get with the program. Everyone knows the lady that founded the Korean channeling technique was Mystic Amy. Um, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Faye family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Actually, it sounds kind of fucked up that they're, like, trapping her spirit in there just so that they can use special channeling powers. Um, romantic, huh? That aren't really as important as she says. It could be a vital clue. Eenie, I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's, remember? As if there's another one. Oh, that one. You, like, you should have said so in the first place. Like, I totally don't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on. What a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah, you only introduced Dr. Ray to Crane Village. No relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Cross-examining her is going to be fun. Furthermore, your sister, who's died in that accident, was a nurse at his clinic. All right, then. Why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to do, like, with... Them do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. Here we go, more lies. Cyclox? Like, what is it? Looks like I'm going to need something to pry her mouth open on this one. The spirit is certain, huh? All I see are a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit coolin's in the space between the cracks. Looks like there's something written on it. I am. Huh, weird. That's Amy, except. The eye is moved. Maybe Maya will be... Yeah. Hey, Nick! I've been waiting! She looks so helpless. So, so, how was it? What did you find out? Um, well, I found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look me in the eye? I, I just need a little more time. It'll all come together tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. She's so sad. So how was it? Today's trial, I mean. You were fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You silly. You silly goose. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're going to win this, Maya. Thanks a lot, really. Hey, Nick. The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but there wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Um, I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Hmm, that's exactly what Lada said, too. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What'd she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you were channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it, wait, then... Then... I really am? You are not the real murderer. I think that maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning, and you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Gray. That's, that's... I want to ask you something about Pearls. Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Wait, Nick! You don't think she did it, do you? No, 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 nothing like that. She'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never. She's a great kid, and I am really cute, and really great, and cute. I don't really think she was a she was the murderer, but she's definitely hiding something. Hmm. You were with her on that day, right? Yeah, the two of us. We were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. 
So about this ball. Nothing really special, just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started channeling the channeling job that day. Really, really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball, huh? She wants to get it. She always climbs right into the clothing box. Clothing box? Yeah. Pilly's always hiding in there. You know the side room? There's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. Clothing box in the side room, huh? Ah, that's the channeling chambers. This key is the only one in the world, right? Yeah. During the trial, I was kind of wondering why you had it. I got it from pearls. That's weird. I swear I locked the door and then put the key into one of my pouchy sleeves. Your sleeve? But how and why would you your sleeve leave the room? It didn't grow a pair of legs. I wonder where Pearly found that key. The incinerator. Oh god. There's pearls. Ah! Hey, wait! Please, Lada! She ran off into the manor. Get back here. Lada. Ah! I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Hey, Morgan. Yes? What is it? Must you be so noisy? We have a rule here. The hallway is not for running. Now I want to call Mana, ask you a question. Okay, anyways. Do you see Lada come by here? Ah, oh, that girl from the Heartland. I'm sorry, but she did not pass by here at any time. Uh, Lada, you sure know how to waste a man's time. Pretty sure I saw Lotta run in this direction, but it doesn't look like she's here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Hey, the ball. It's a steel samurai ball. It's a pearl ball. Might have said it's always kept in the clothing box. So then, what is it doing on the floor? I wonder, is it because Lotta's in the clothing box? I wonder what's inside. Ah, what? What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another piece of human trash. I needed a hole to crawl into. <laughs> God damn, Lana. So you crawled into the clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh man, huh? There's a small hole in this clothing box and it's about eight inches off the ground. <gasps> the clothing box was in the channeling room. That's the same eye as the hole in the folding screen. And could this? It's all coming together. Oh, Mr. Nick, that person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, she means Lotta. She said, don't look at me with them eyes, but I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me, me to tell you, going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. All right. I think we have enough. We have the ball. She was in Winding Way. There's a cracked vase that Maya said she doesn't rem remember being cracked and Pearl doesn't want to talk about it. So it sounds like she was kind of naughty. Pearl. You're playing with this ball, right? Ah, that's right. How how did you know? Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh, and then? Something, something happened, huh? Something really bad. Ah, uh, what do you mean, something? Nothing happened. This is it. You're playing with your ball. Oh, you broke the vase of the fucking spirit. This urn. It's a village. It's a village treasure, right? Ah, uh, um. And the spirit of the founder of the crane technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Yes. What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? Doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. It's... it's a really old urn, isn't it? I guess. It's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. 
How can you tell that urn has been broken? Because the name's not spelled right. Who started the Korean channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it was Miss Sakami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. <gasps> I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn and made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. Oh, sweet. We got health back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Around when Mystic Maya started channeling on that day. Oh, whoop. I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when... And that's when you broke the urn? Yes, I broke it. I accidentally let Mystic Ami Spirit fly away. That's actually really bad. <laughs> Don't worry, Morgan will never know, okay? They'll know if, like, suddenly they can't use their powers anymore, right? Because isn't, like, that's part of what's going on, although they obviously can still channel, so maybe that whole she's sealed there so that they can use power things complete bullshit. I'm a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together and no one would notice. Yes. I found some glue and brought it, in, brought it to the hallway and fixed the urn there. The hallway? You mean the winding way? Yes. Aww. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. I see. About how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. <gasps> That's the other accident! So about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things, but when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. When I had finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um... Uh, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm going to get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I bet Mystic Ami's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Yeah, I know! I was like, it's fucked up that you guys keep her there. Yeah, I hope so. No harm done and a happy resolution. Phew. I can't see how it all lines up. <laughs> and is Eeny Miney being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How's it that the spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be that nurse? And that nurse turns out to be Eeny's sister. It's too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. I wish I knew a little more about Eeny, but where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over a trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah, Lada. Oh, so you finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to you, you sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of one around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What are you going on about? As for following or chasing or whatever it is, isn't that what you're doing? Uh, well, you see... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are you? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. Look, I'm really dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. Yeah, it's different though. This time she wasn't, at least she didn't think she was lying this time. I don't think the last time she was outright lying. You hurt Maya really badly, Lada. Um, I don't suppose you can forgive a gal like me. Whatever. Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out too, after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Ah, uh, thank goodness I'm still... I'm still, what? No, 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 nothing, nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. Now then, a lot of heart at your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've dug up. Thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I'll even give you all this info for free. I was not taking money, now I know this one's an alien clone. Maya's not the real murderer then. What do you think it is, Lada? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak. You mean Eeny Miney? Well, there ain't anyone else that could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. So Lada suspects any Eeny, which means she might have already found some info about our mysterious Eeny. Hey, that's Eeny Meeny, right? 
Ying Mine, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I heard as much. I also heard that Eni was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Crane Village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Yes, please. Speaking of Eni, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? Ha ha ha. It'll cost you, and it'll cost a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Oh, her accident. Hospitalized, but why? Well, heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find out some. Maybe? What's that supposed to mean? Well, see, actually, it was going to be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Ugh. Well... That's the way the gumbo spoils, right? Spoil gumbo sounds, you. I mean, look, don't blame this on. No, never mind. It's like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out this clinic. Game. So this is where Eni was hospitalized. Time to fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
You mean walk, walking encyclopedia? Yes, that. And my specialty is in young, silky, smooth, haughty patients. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah, how about you keep that kind of information to yourself? Oh, anyway, you want to know about Little Miss Eeny Miney, right? Little Miss Eeny Miney? Please tell me what you know about Eeny Miney. Um, yes, I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the General Hospital. This was, yes, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? Nah, nah, nah. She was injured, not ill. My trained eye, I could see, yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury? Her whole body was wrapped around and round in bandages, and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe, all right. Ah, yes, it was an accident, an accident. They're scary, yes. Cars, mm, yes. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yep, that's what gave her the terrible injuries. I swear it was in the papers. Yes, I looked it up. All up, I did. It was terrible. Yes. Dare I even ask what is what is wrong with this old guy? Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation. Hmm? Are you talking about Miss Eni's operation? Yes, Miss Miss Eni's. That uh, that was one uh, heck of an accident. Yes, her whole face was burned like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Is it really that bad? Hmm, it was a good thing that Miss Eni had a picture of herself. I heard that picture was how they put her face back together. Hmm. Picture? That girl, see, she had, uh, she had just gotten her license. So she just happened to have a license photo on her. Hmm, yes. Oh, so, see, I got her picture. That's a way to remember her, yes. Or more like, swiped. Uh, breach of ethics, oh wait. But what, a pretty girl like her, I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure, my treasure. Precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows, I didn't bother to ask. Probably got burned up along with the car. Oh, yes. So wait, was she the driver in the accident that killed her sister, or these two separate accidents? But then she's making it seem like she's the... Her sister got drugged and killed herself on accident? Yeah, exactly. This is a great coincidence. Um, so you, oh, so you looked up information on Annie's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Mm, yep, I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Um, yes, hold on, I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. Huh? You have it? Well, 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 don't get me wrong, I thought something like this might come up, so. Obsessive to the max, but I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, here we go, here we go, yes. According to this, Miss Annie was in the passenger seat. Passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. Strong Joe woke her up in the next minute to see if fire was all around her. Wait, so she, was she in the car? Miss Innie fought with the door, finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in the article, yes. New clue. Should probably look this over. It's been half a year since me, Miss Innie had her surgery and got better. She was discharged somewhere in, sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Mm, yes, yeah, so how was I? I was, really, I was a real help, wasn't I? Mm, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Mm, yes, well then, I'll be getting back to my room then. Tell Miss Eni I said hi, okay? Mm, yes. It's time for me to leave, too. Mm, yes. Ah, okay, it's definitely time to leave. Mm, yes. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Why are you still here? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't, you ain't looking so well. Ah, uh, yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell him. Things are sure getting interesting. Ah, uh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. Always starts out small, you know. Stealing the master seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Wait, hold on. What? That stuff you were just talking about. It's the first I've heard of it. Hey, really? Well, it's all news to everyone else in the world. Oh, well, excuse me for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. I said something about stealing the master's seat. Yep, right now, the master is this medium named Misty Fay, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? You know where Eni is? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah. I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up with me. So I hear the ma I hear the master's always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter. 
Turns out that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Oh? They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like, she's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to become the next master? Disgraceful. Wow, I had no idea. So what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Brand family, I reckon. Hey, like I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Silly. I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me? Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Actually, I forgot to, I've completely forgot to look at this. Wait, where's the news? The woman was on some flaming wreckage and died. Okay, so she was in the car. That was her interview? I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened the right door and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. Take a look at this. It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says Miss Eenie Miney holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? Like, like, wait! What now? That's not me! Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eenie Miney, is, like, pretty common. <laughs> What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name Mimi Mimi Miney is in here too. Like totally wow, what a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting like goosebumps. You think I'm going to let you get away with that? So like now what? Like do you have something saying something that totally says I was hospitalized? Okay. This is your proof. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were ho where you hospitalized at. Huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director! Now, are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? And the woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that... Do you suppose that woman that died in the car accident? Okay, God, this shouldn't even be a lock. This is just clearly obvious. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi! You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time I grabbed from my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I like couldn't do anything. 
The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. Does this give any good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray? Exclamation point? Ha ha ha. It seems so simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. Wow. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it's perfectly all right. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please! Let me go, too! No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Aw, oh, don't make that face... Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. <laughs> Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, uh, sorry. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by... That by Morgan. Ow. Mother! Mother! This has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick! I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. Sigh, I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what a, what about Mystic Maya? She'll be all right. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone, either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. <laughs> you kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. Memory serves. We had a few psych locks of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. Why don't you just tell me? Why? I don't get why people are just like, um, I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to use your power. Otherwise, I'm not gonna tell you. Mia, we're talking about your sister here. She's going to be found guilty of murder unless you tell me these things and you're all like, oh, you're welcome to try. I don't know. Get good, bro. Mia, yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. No, oh, did I have to do this first? Why? Do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to exp oh, it looks time it looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. How about you just tell me? Otherwise your sister might die. Yeah, Bell of Wits against Mia, <laughs> the murderer. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you? Isn't that right? I can't believe how like coy she's being about this. Yes. All right, then. Tell me who you think I'm protecting. Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would, be, you would protect like this, Mia. Well done, but while the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else, which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. There's only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. Person, the person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? It could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after. 
Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it into the incinerator. But that's... That prosecutor would use something this small to shred your case. Oh, this. This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. The same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may not even be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. Both the key and this cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing a costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. Boom! You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to... Who or what did she need? Well, she needed her, and she needed this. So it's like both of these, right? Yeah. Doi! Eeny miny. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny miny were in cahoots. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. A person would have to know a lot about Fey Mana and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eeny Miny is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Fey? Why would she have to? Well, actually we do have a motive. It's so that Maya's out of the way so that Morgan can become the head of the family. How is Phoenix not putting this together already? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eni. Maya doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then there's only one possibility, huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Use your head for a change. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underheaded fashion? Because... Mother. She is the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Who's? Mine? That's who you're talking about. My mother? I don't know my mother is. Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. My and they're me and Maya's mother? Why would she bring her up now? Now then, looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Generally, you, everything has to become apparent before you win, but okay. Right, Chief. We won't lose. 